Pino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from the sleazy hotel and the slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. And well was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he'd gotten was my attention. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Pinito brothers. I covered them blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. strong whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack exact words. Quote. Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up, but you finito, finitos. A V deal then added security. Locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with bitchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa. A spook story told to keep the apes in mind. 313. The finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin.
trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. But no, they sit down. 
down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game games. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turned snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of a local Russian mob, flying down Punchinello's soup.
that star, Jimmy. Ah! I rate pretty high on that. Can't just broken cold blood? Uh, just keep telling yourself that. <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just don't hurt me no more. Pino's at Ragnarok, the nightclub. Book me, take me in the home and in the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. You're right to be ready at your funeral. <laughs>